In this PowerPoint video, I'm going to show you how to use the morph transition. Let's get started. So here I am in PowerPoint, and I have a four slide presentation at this point, and I'm just gonna go here to the second slide. I would like this caterpillar to morph from a small caterpillar here at the left to a giant caterpillar that will fill the screen pretty much. One way to do that is to use the morph transition. Whenever you want to use the morph transition, you'll want to set up the first slide that has the object that you want to morph. So here is that slide. It's got the caterpillar that I want to morph. Next, I just need to duplicate that slide. So I'm gonna right click on that slide here at the left in the navigation pane, and I'm gonna choose duplicate slide. Now I have two of the same slide. Here on the second of those duplicate slides, I'm gonna make some changes to this caterpillar. I'm gonna bring him up more toward the center of the slide, and I'll use the little corner handles to stretch out this poor caterpillar to make him fill the screen, more or less. The next step is to select both slides. So I just clicked on slide number two, held the shift key, and then clicked on slide three. Now both slides are selected, and I'll go here to the Transitions tab, and here is the Morph Transition. I'll just click that button, and I'll just go now to the Slideshow tab, and I'll play my presentation, either from the current slide or from the beginning. Doesn't really matter. There's my title slide. I'll move on to slide number two, and then as I move to slide three, see what happens. The caterpillar morphs into the state and the size and the position that I put it in in that second duplicate slide. So it looks like the morph transition is working well so far. Now I tapped escape to get back into design mode because I want you to see that by default, your PowerPoint morph transitions will have an automatic duration, in this case, two seconds, and also a method for advancing the slide or the morph. But I can change those default settings. I'll just click here on the first slide where the transition begins. I'll hold the shift key and click on the second slide. And then here on the transitions tab, here at the right, there's a timing group, and I could change the duration of this morph transition Instead of what it was before, I want it to take five seconds. And I want it to advance on mouse click. If I want to, I can have a sound associated with this transition. Let's try it out now. I'm gonna start my presentation from the beginning. There's my sound effect. And now, as I advance to the next slide, it should take about five seconds to morph from the small caterpillar into the large caterpillar. I'm gonna escape out of the presentation. Now, in addition to some timing options, there are some other effect options that you can choose. In this case, objects is exactly what I wanted. I'm morphing objects one into the next, but it is possible to morph words and characters. So in this video, we've looked at how to use the morph transition in Microsoft PowerPoint. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell, and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the Thanks button below the video. And you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll find more information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it.